Okay, today, ladies and gents, we're going to talk about things you may or may not know about masks and photoregions in the new version 9 of uh, Zara's photo products. Um, okay, I'm going to be doing this in uh, Zara Designer Pro X uh, uh, version 9, which uh, is what I have, but I don't think it's any different for any of the other photo pro products. Um, so the first thing I wanted to say is, is things have changed from, uh, from version 8. In version 8, uh, which is what I'm in right now, uh, you used to have this little button here which was the uh, mask mode tool. And you could click on this and it would mask the entire screen and uh, you could then go about uh, um, taking away bits of it, right? And then you could invert that mask and, and you could also uh, remove the mask, yeah? So that's the way things used to work, uh, they don't work like that anymore. Um, that mask mode tool is no longer in existence in, uh, in version 9. Uh, the way you create masks is now different, and I'm going to go over that in just a second. But I just wanted to show you that uh, mask mode tool is no longer in the customized key shortcut, so it's, it's not there. Uh, and there's also no longer a button for it in the button palette. Um, so it is completely gone. Uh, but that doesn't mean that the functionality is not there anymore. In fact, the, the functionality has been enhanced. Now you have not only masks, but also photo regions. And photo regions and masks are basically inversions of each other. Um, so let's go down here to this tool and, and, and talk about them. Uh, well, first of all, let me explain the difference between a mask and a photo region, right? Um, for a mask, you, um, you create an area that you want to protect from an operation. If you uh, remember my, my last uh, um, tutorial on the, uh, on, on, on the use of masks, uh, if you remember P, uh, pink is protected. Um, that was the, that's the kind of the, the way you can remember it. Pink is protected for, for a, a, a mask when you're, when you're going to do an operation. Uh, regions are the exact opposite. Regions are an, uh, are an area that you select for an operation. So if you only want to apply um, something to a specific operation, then you can uh, use a region. Uh, so let's go over the tools. This is the, the mask and region tool uh, flyout. And it consists of a few different tools, right? The first one is this region painter tool. You can press Alt F3 to get to it. And it works just like any other painter. Uh, you have nib sizes and you can paint over things. And that's the area that you're going to affect, right? This region that you have selected. Um, I'm gonna clear that. Then you also have this uh, um, freehand region tool for um, drawing, it works a lot like the, or exactly like the freehand and brush tool. Uh, you can also uh, press control, you can, I'm sorry, press and hold shift to erase uh, your line when you're, when you're drawing something. But basically if you wanted to come down here and go along this edge, something like that, up here to the top and back over here, and you can just let go at the end and it'll, it'll connect the line. That's a way, another way you could draw a region was with that tool. Um, I'm going to clear that for now, and then uh, you have this uh, rectangle region tool, which is for just drawing a rectangle. Works just like the uh, the the rectangle tool in the in the shapes. Okay, and this is the region that you would be selected to to make your changes to. So I'm going to clear that, and then uh, then we have um, for uh, masks we have this mask painter tool, which uh, works in the exact opposite way, right? So if this is the bit that I wanted to protect down here, this bottom piece, I could paint over that, right? And this is, works just like uh, the, the painter tool. You can hold down shift here to erase bits of it, right? If you wanted to, this isn't particularly necessary because it's, uh, you know, it's not part of the picture, but you, you can do that. You can hold down the shift key to, uh, to do that. It works that way for the, uh, um, for the region painter tool as well. In both of those you can hold down shift to erase pieces that you've uh, you've drawn too much of. Um, and uh, and then you have um, show the masker region, invert masker region. So if I click on that, it just inverts it, right? You also have these buttons up here for clearing and inverting. And uh, the last one is uh, is this uh, clear masker region.
Yeah. So that's um, that's the tools and kind of how you use them. Um, the uh, the functions of, of these haven't changed. So if you've uh, seen my last tutorial and, and, and I went over all the different things you could do with these, you can use these, uh, um, you know, slice shapes and, and things like that with the, uh, these, you can, uh, um, you can do, what else can you do with them? You can do um, all of your, your photo enhancement type stuff with them, um, that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, so for example here, I've just protected this piece of, uh, of this photo, okay? So whatever changes I'm about to make aren't going to affect the, the pieces that I have covered. But I do want to affect, uh, make these changes to here. So say I wanted to leave this um, in focus and, uh, and kind of haze out the back, uh, make, it, uh, make it less sharp, less, uh, less in focus. I could go to my uh, Sharpen tool, Sharpen or Blur, and I can decrease the sharpness or increase the blur. And when I'm done, you can see that the foreground is very sharp and the background is not so much, not so sharp. I'm sorry about that. Uh, quite easy tools to use. Um, you can come up with a, a million and one uh, different things for uh, for imagining how to use them. Um, let's see. With this one here, this is a, a picture of a of a tornado. That uh, that was kind of near my house back in Texas, uh, and uh, I wanted to show you a way that you could. I've, I've basically protected all of the the uh, um, the photo except for the uh, the clouds. Let me just I'll take off the show the mask. There's the the photo in in and of itself, and I'm going to bring it back. And what I wanted to do here was make this even more ominous looking by, by darkening that up. So I've protected this area and, um, and all I'm going to do is set the darkness of the photo a little bit more, right? Give it a less brightness and you can see that that turned even darker. And if I press the compare button, I can toggle back and forth and you can see that that looks a little bit more ominous. Now, I didn't get these edges quite right. You can kind of see almost a line here. Um, one thing that you can still do here, by the way, is uh, you can use this uh, uh, feathering tool and you can feather that in a little bit and it looks not so sharp a line anymore. Yeah? All right, so that's, uh, that's something else you can do with it. Let's see, what else? Um, you may have noticed here that, um, sorry, that while there is a painter a freehand region and a rectangle tool for uh, for the regions. There's only a painter tool for the masks, but that doesn't mean you can't use other things. For example, um, anything that you any shape that you create, right? Whether it's just a a circle, right? I can delete that. Or I could have copied it either way. And as long as I select a, a mask tool and I press Control Shift V to paste it in place, look, it comes up right where you had it before. And you can use that as a mask. Um, this works for any kind of shape that you can create. Uh, for example, I have created a slightly irreverent shape here. And I'm going to press Control C to copy it and go into. Uh, this right here, and if I press Control Shift V, there's my. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't do that right. I didn't have my um, mask tool selected. You have to have a mask tool selected to have it appear on the mask layer. But with the mask tool selected, press Control Shift V, and there you go. It's it's appeared as a mask on the mask layer. So that's it. Um, those are the major differences. I've gone way over time on this, so I'm sorry that it's a. Uh, been a long tutorial, but I hope you found it useful and uh, understand a bit better the differences between the two. Um, and uh, and we'll come back and visit us again next time. But I just remember one slightly different thing. One reason I personally like using the 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 masks better than the uh, than the uh, um, regions is um... oh look at that you can you can convert one from a mask to a region. 
that's interesting. I didn't even know that. So I just found out something new. But um, if you if you set this up as a region and you tell it you want to invert it, so I'm going to click this invert mask region. There's not really much to tell you that it got inverted. I mean, you see this this uh, um, line that goes around this, but if you were working at a at a much higher zoom, for example, you might not see the edges of uh, of the photo to see that uh, that this has been made part of uh, of the region. It, it it's so much easier to see with um, with a mask, but uh, you know that's just me. Um, you can do whatever you want and you have the information that you need. I hope you found it useful and we'll come back and see us again next time.